Um, it's actually comparatively and statistically quite rare that you get a three-horse race at, the, at this stage of the season. I think the last time we had it at this at this stage was 2014, when Jose Mourinho famously described Chelsea as being a little horse in the race. I think they went on to win it. But how would you how would you describe Arsenal's chances? Are you, lots of people sort of talking about you as the outsiders of the three. Do you see it like that? Well, we are, are third, we are third at the moment. Now we are. We are competing with, as I said before, two of the most successful um, clubs in Europe in the last decade. You know, they have break every record that it was in the history of this league. They have set the standards somewhere else that um, no one else has been capable of doing. And um, and I think they merit that recognition. And uh, all it has to do is improve and, and try to be better than them. Does that mean then that you you quite enjoy being underdogs? In a way, well, I, it's sometimes easier is it to chase rather than be chased. What I enjoy is to be fighting for for uh, big trophies um, in this period, and we want to continue to do the same when it gets to May. That's the objective. Uh, but you can apply the pressure this weekend. Well, that's what we're going to try to do. How important would that be? Yeah, it's very important, like winning at Sheffield and then going to Manchester and beating Man City. <laughs> this is going, not going to stop the demands and the amount of points that are going to be needed. It's going to be so high and, uh, and we know that it's uh, one step at a time. Okay, good. I'm Mikhail. Hi. Um, there's an England squad selection coming up. There's the Euros in the summer. This could be Aaron's last game of, of the season should Derek Rara stay in, in, in goal. Is there a concern that he tries too hard to impress but this is his one and final chance to show Gareth Southgate England what he can do. Is there a chance that he's too emotional in this, in this game? Well, I don't know how Gareth is thinking, but uh, if I put that situation into my eyes and my perspective and how we make uh, a decision, I would judge Aaron not for what he's done in one day, but what he's done in the last two or three seasons. And, um, and this consistency that he showed, the quality that he showed, it will give me no reason why to make another decision. And he is a very emotional keeper. He kind of interacts with the crowd. And is, is that a concern as well, that he needs to keep his emotions in check? A player has to be himself and one of the biggest qualities of Aaron is his character, his charisma, his enthusiasm, his energy and, and he's contagious with that and uh, you cannot cut that. That's him. Okay, last couple now. Yes, sir. Hi, Mikhail. Hi. At the time when Raya replaced Ramsdale in goal, we were all obviously questioning the decision and asked why, why that's the case. The stats from then show that Raya has actually improved on the goalkeeping stats for Arsenal. Uh, compared to Ramsdale in the previous season. Do you feel vindicated in some way, the fact that Rai's come in and kicked on and done so well in goal? No, we try to make every decision to try to to play better, to improve the team and uh, and that's it, that's the only objective and then the players are the ones to, to make those decisions right or wrong. What are the main attributes that are different between the two? Because they're obviously di quite different keepers. I, I don't like to compare players. Okay. And in terms of a bit of a different topic, then in terms of goals, 21 goals in the last four league games. Before Christmas, there was a bit of a drought uh, from your team. What's changed in terms of the goal scoring? Why can you suddenly, as a team, uh, put more goals in the net? <laughs> because we've been more efficient. Because uh, in some of the games that uh, we didn't score goals, we have more shots and more touches in the box that uh, many of the games that we have won with with bigger margin. And this is the nature of the game and the beauty of the game. And um, and obviously now we have as well that confidence that the energy that the ball is going to go in and and that's very difficult to put into a stat. Mentally as well, is it something mentally as well that's changed possibly? Well, pro probably, yes. And finally, we've got John. I know you want um, good players in all positions, but is there going to come a time where you have to let Ramsdale go just because he's an international goalkeeper and he needs to play? There's not going to be any difference with any other position in in the team, but when we make uh, that call to allow somebody go or a player that wants to go, um, that's something that uh, we will discuss if, if that moment arrives. I suppose the flip side is it could be an injury to Ryan, he could play the rest of the season. He, he's got to look at it like that, hasn't he, as well? No, you never know. He does really, really well, and um, and you decide something else. Okay, guys, thanks very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.